Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World. And today we're in Cusco, Peru, the capital of the Incas, probably the most famous city and most popular city to stay in here in Peru. This is your base camp to go to Machu Picchu. There's so many great things here to do in Cusco and other parts of Peru that you're going to do all those things. But what I want to focus on today are the things you don't do when you are here in Peru because all the cool things, yes, do go fly over the, the vomit plane and go see the Nazca lines. And yes, do go hike the Inca Trail and things like that. But you got to be careful with those don'ts. So let's get started. The first don't you have here in Peru is don't drink the water. Honestly, whether you're in big cities or small towns, do not drink the water. Use bottled water, okay? Otherwise, you will have some tummy troubles. If you're going to be doing some of the hikes, I do recommend bringing some kind of water purification whether it's the tablets or the, the the guns or whatever or the filtration systems have those with you because the water you can't drink it when you're here okay the second don't I have for you is don't take your health okay for advantage look here in Peru there are some things that you will deal with as a tourist yes I already talked about the water but also you have the Sun the Sun is very strong here and when you're at higher altitudes the strong is even the Sun is even stronger so make sure you do bring some good sunblock make sure you have a hat jacket long sleeve shirts because it can be pretty dangerous I mean I'm, I'm already peeling a bit and I've been wearing a hat and sunblock every day so you want to be careful with that also with your health Altitude sickness is something that does affect not every tourist, but a lot of tourists, especially if you're going to be here in Cusco. We're over 3,000 meters high, 10,000 feet up. It is really tough to breathe when you first get here. And some people might have the dizziness and headaches and, and nausea from that altitude sickness. So when you are here, don't go crazy your first day when you go into the Cusco's and Arequipa's. Let yourself acclimatize to that to that altitude okay now kind of going along with that altitude sickness one of the things you want to use to kind of help with that your hotel will give you here is coca leaves and the third don't I have for you is don't freak out about the coca leaves okay coca leaves if you're not sure is what drug dealers use to make cocaine okay and and most places in the world cocaine well <laughs> coca leaves is illegal but coca leaves are not illegal here in Peru because what you do is you might drink it as a tea you might chew on it you might have it as a gum or a candy and it helps with the altitude sickness and I'll be honest it does make a huge difference when you're here and the locals will tell adults hey have five or six cups a day to really help with that altitude sickness okay so don't be scared of the coca leaves you're not gonna turn into a drug dealer but that kind of leads into my fourth don't for you is don't take the coca leaves with you when you leave Peru because they are illegal in other countries. So when those little doggies come to your bag and they're like, what's this? Smell when you're at, at LaGuardia or you're in Atlanta and things like that. They're like, um, yeah, you can't bring coca leaves back here. So don't take them back with you. So when you're head to the airport, and you're getting rid of your liquids. Get rid of your coca leaves, and your coca leaf products as well, like the gums and the teas and stuff like that, because can't really take it with you. Now my fifth don't for you has to do with something here near Cusco. Going to Machu Picchu, we all have to see it. It's one of the coolest places in the world. I've hiked the Inca Trail, I've gone there with the train. It is a wonderful experience. But don't expect that you're gonna be able to just hop on the Inca Trail, okay? They do have, you have to get a permit to go. And if you're gonna be coming here in the busy months of July and August, man, you might not get a, you might not get a, a permit to go. So if you're gonna come a busy season, book your Inca Trail early, okay? Um, also, don't expect the Inca Trail to be easy, all right? I hiked it. I, it was 18 years ago when I hiked it, and I remember I was in good shape, too. And I'm like, man, this is tough with the altitude and stuff like that. It is gorgeous beyond belief, but it is not an easy trek. It's not an impossible trek, but it's not easy. So make sure you train up before you go so you feel more comfortable, have stuff with you so, so you're more ready for those altitude and that height because it can be quite tough, but it is gorgeous. But don't expect you're just going to walk right on, okay? And also, don't forget to tip your porters and cooks if you do hike the Inca Trail. I can't tell you how many people don't tip those guys, and they do so much work to make that trip so fantastic for people, so don't forget to tip them, okay? Also, don't expect to do the Inca Trail in February. That's when they actually close it down uh, to work on it and get things worked up. Also, that's rainy season, and when it rains here in Cusco, I mean, it's like torrential downpour and flooded streets and stuff like that, uh, so do be careful with that one. Now, my sixth don't for you is don't get freaked out by the cooey the guinea pig. The first time, I remember the first time I came here 18 years ago, I was here in Cusco, okay? And I look, and, and they're bringing out this food for me. Oh, cool, it's something you have to eat when you're here. I'm like, cool, okay. And there was no internet, there was no things like that. So I'm like, cool, the, the locals say I should eat it. And they bring it out. And it's 
A cooey, oh, a cooey, you don't know what cooey is? Cooey is a guinea pig. You know those little pets you have in preschool and kindergarten? Yeah, they eat those here. That's a very traditional dish here. I mean, it's so traditional that when you see paintings of the Last Supper with Jesus, they're eating guinea pig, okay? San Francisco Monastery in, in Lima has that and other churches too. And the thing is, that guinea pig, when it came, it was grilled like on a spit and it came spread eagle. And I was like, oh, my god okay i did have it <laughs> so don't be freaked out by it it is a traditional thing here and also don't worry about the food the food here is fantastic peruvian food is really great they have a lot of great fusion stuff out here uh the the trout is really good if you're looking for fish um the alpaca which is actually fantastic my kids they're eating man-sized steaks of alpaca and wanting more from it i mean there's all kinds of great food here drinking the inca cola which you have to have on your hair it tastes like bubble gum there's all kinds of good things so don't let the eating guinea pig thing freak you out because there's a lot of great food when you are here now my seventh don't for you I know it sounds silly but don't think that Peru is just Cusco and Machu Picchu this country has so much to see whether it's the Amazon in the north or the beaches or going to the Nazca lines and flying over there or going to the white city of Arequipa where all the stones are and going to see the Santa Carolina monastery or seeing Juanita the little the mummy that's there I mean there's so much cool things to see here aside from Machu Picchu so if you're gonna come take a couple weeks yes come to Cusco you have to come to Cusco it is amazing and go to Machu Picchu but don't let that be it go to Lima and just explore around there see the Miraflores district go to the Plaza de Armas in the center and see things there go 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 explore because there's so much more than just Machu Picchu so don't think it's just that also don't think that everybody's an Inca here look there's a lot of indigenous tribes there's a lot of indigenous pre-Columbian people here aside from the Inca so not every temple not every ruin you see not every pyramid you see will actually be you know from the Inca so there's a lot more things here than that okay now the eighth don't I have for you is don't throw your toilet paper in the toilet throw it in that trash can next to the toilet because the pipes in Peru they can't really hold down the toilet paper as well and take it down so let the, the the brown and yellow go down okay but the toilet paper goes in the trash next door whether it's a whatever you use the toilet paper for have that also don't forget to take some tissues with you because not every public toilet will have tissues so just just know it's always good to have a little pack with you I have some actually in my backpack so I'm good to go okay now, our ninth thing for you is don't be afraid to haggle in the markets. You'll see when you go to the markets, you want to buy, you know, a, 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 par, a, a, par, a poncho or something about alpaca wool or, or, or whatever. You're going to see that there's not really prices listed a lot of places. You're going to ask what the prices are. But when you see that, it's okay to haggle and go back and forth. And you might also see is don't be surprised if you see different prices at certain tour sites for tourists versus locals out there. And my tenth don't for you is don't forget to have cash. Look. Peru has a great tourist infrastructure and a lot of places, places do take credit card, but not every place takes credit cards. So make sure you do have soles, that's the money they have here. A lot of places do take dollars as well, so you're okay. But if you're gonna tip, it's usually good to have soles to, to tip out there. Anyway, those are my 10 don'ts of coming to Peru. If you wanna learn more, 10 things that'll shock you about Peru, what you should, five tips for visiting Cusco and Machu Picchu, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, obviously YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscribe, Subscriptions. Um, and it really, if you like videos like this, that subscription, we put out at least two travel videos every week, every Wednesday and every Saturday, okay, from all over the world, from here in Peru, deepest, darkest Peru, to, to, to London, England, you know, we're Paddington the Bear, you know, we go all over the place. Um, but we do have those out there and we really appreciate it. So if you want to, if you want to sign up, click that subscribe button up there. If you want to see other videos about Peru or other travel videos, click down here for more videos. And we really appreciate your support and do have a great time here in Peru. The people are wonderful. The food is fantastic. The sites are amazing. I mean, and the great tourist infrastructure. So it is a fantastic place to go. So I'll say bye from Peru. And don't worry, you'll love it here. Adios.